Okay, welcome to my uh, third devlog for this tool for Elite Dangerous that is called EDTPD. And again, I'm sorry for the name. It's just the first thing that came out to my mind. Anyways, this uh, week I'm going to show you the galaxy. Ooh, whoa, yeah. So, um... Yeah, last time I was talking about um, downloading data from ADSM and showing much more systems from this database. But instead I was uh, driven out by um, building something similar to what Elite Dangerous have. And here you can see with this overlay what I'm talking about. This is... Uh, the galaxy map divided by sectors and, and it's, it's the galaxy that Dr. Ross have created for us in LA Dangerous. I have just uh, extracted information from the image using Blender. You probably know that you can, for example, uh, extract like black and white information from that and, and sometimes you subdivide by color channels to highlight something and for example I created this black and white image and with Blender you can create a displacement map and uh, then you just Uh, the displacement, uh, I mean, uh, the image for the displacement map, and then you see something like that happens. So, um, working on this thing, you apply that, and you can then add it this thing you can create a mesh that have the shape of the main arms of the galaxy. So within Godot, I... I just use that for my particles to emit based on, on that shape. See, this is an unshaded version of of what you've seen in Blender. So I'm sorry, it's not easy to understand how it's shaped. But anyways, with this, you just tell particles to emit on top of that. So I've added a few layers. Oh, sorry, it's not that. Yeah, a few layers like that. And basically, you have this end result. It's not 100% accurate, but still, it, um, it was an eye candy I wanted to put in this galaxy map. Um, so if you, if we zoom in, let's go to Sol. I've been there recently had the permission and I've made use of it. So if I zoom in, you can see the galaxy disappears. If I zoom out, comes back. And actually when you zoom out, this little star should disappear for performance regions. Anyways, uh, talking about performance, you can use this tool while playing the game because when you stop for more than, f than five seconds, I mean, like, uh, stop, you know, generating input on the screen, it just freezes up and it's just a still image, so it doesn't consume up um, CPU. Uh, apart from that, I um, have also worked a little bit on this ADSM thing, and, and now it represents the stars. 
from the coordinates uh, we are in now, so from around Seoul. And it takes a while because it's 200 uh, light years from the this this coordinates. So usually in the bubble you have a lot of star systems and it takes uh, quite some time to download it. In the future I will store everything in the database locally. So prepare to have a database of some gigabytes if you download every star system that have been discovered so far because there we are we have like um if i'm not wrong more than 64 million star systems uh stored in edsm in this case i'm just using point vertices so it they do not have a real size as you zoom in it just the cloud spreads out and, and you start to lose visibility of those dots. But basically our all the system in a twenty light years twenty light years radius around around the, the coordinates you are. So if we go much I mean further out in a region where you have much less stars, it's probably going to take less to download and then to render those stars there you go see here we have a much lower density of stars as, as it was expected and uh what else uh i know that there are other uh, developers interested in in how i did it in in more detail and if i see a, a lot of interest i might create a full tutorial on another channel that i have specifically for game dev and then and other things i do for a living <laughs> so yeah that's that's it for for now i don't think i have anything else to show yeah, that's that's basically it. I really hope uh, FDev and and other <laughs> commanders creation are allowed to be used uh, because uh, otherwise I do not know what to put in this galaxy view. I would really love to to keep this kind of things um, because this tool is going to be free to use for everyone. I also have already a GitHub repository where all the code is stored. It's still private, but as soon as I have a usable version of this tool, I will release the code for anyone to work. Um, so that's, that's it for this third devlog. And if you enjoyed what you just saw, you can like and subscribe i will very i will be very grateful and uh, see you next time